aerobic tanks let's just get right into it because I'm gonna make this as quick as possible an aerobic tank is a three chambered one piece system at least for the most part in 2024 it is a one piece system originally there would be three separate tanks that would make this system up and now they make them in pre-cast one casted piece with individualized compartments inside of it which is exactly what this is you have a trash tank one aeration tank two and a pump tank three i know there's a whole lot of squiggly lines on here i'm going to show you what all that means so here we go here's your house two-way clean out okay water coming from the house runs into the tank it's a sanitary t right here which is basically a fancy term for saying it's got a built-in 90 inside of it so it forces liquid and materials down into whatever direction you point it in in this case the trash tank on the bottom of that there will be a piece of three or four inch pipe the same size as this that is going down into the tank that is anywhere from 12 to 18 inches long and that is to keep any of this stuff from going back into the house should you ever have a backup it's the same reason that's exact same occurrence on this side as you have a sanitary tee with the same 12 or 18 inch piece of pipe hanging down off of it to keep the trash in the trash tank and not exiting into the aeration chamber. Does that mean it always works? No. Does that mean everybody glues a long enough piece on there? No. So you could get trash in here. The trash tank stays full all the way up to the bottom of this fitting all the time. It is full all the time. When you open this riser and you look inside of here, or you open this up to look inside of here, it's gonna have like a scum layer. You will see this in another video because I'm going to show you what that looks like. But everybody learned different, so I'm doing dry erase board way here just as a basic rundown. So it has like a scum layer on top. Kind of looks like moss or just this wet spongy thing on top. I don't know how to describe it any better than that. <laughs> so water in 8.33 pounds per gallon is what water weighs, enters into the tank here. So water pressure pushes in here, raises the level, pushes water out into our aeration chamber. Aeration chamber is called an aeration chamber for a reason and the fact that it gets air pushed into it from your aerator. Your aeration pump is on the surface inside the doghouse over here, okay? This little dude vibrates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. It never stops pushing air through this half inch line that either goes through the concrete lid or through the riser, depending on how the precast company made that. The installer did not choose that. Runs down on a half inch line to the bottom and it is hooked to an air diffuser. If you open this riser, you'll be able to see the scum line here and the aeration chamber side. This will be very turbulent. It will look like a crazy hot tub, okay? It'll be moving all this water just very crazy rapidly. That is exactly what it's supposed to do. The air is pushed into this black water from your trash tank to keep all the microbials and bacteria from growing and creating stuff that you don't want sprayed on your yard later down the line. That's what this is to do. There's a baffle wall inside of this tank, okay? It, it starts right here below the lid. There's a lid that's on top of this tank that's on a different video that you can see. Comes down, this is a small gap. This small gap is to keep, if trash or anything had migrated into the aeration chamber, there, there's an angled piece here that's poured to try to keep as much of that stuff in the aeration tank as possible and not enter into the pump tank. We want this tank to stay clean. This riser, you'll be able to see this sanitary tee, and you'll be able to see your part of your pump tank, okay? This last riser will be right over the top of all your pumps, your floats, everything here that is in a system that operates the system is right here, okay? Your control panel, your pump, your lift pump, your three floats that are attached to the one inch pipe, and your aerator are all located near this control box on one end of the tank and or this control box and aerator are attached to the house where somebody has ran wires out of this and made it look maybe a little nicer somebody paid extra for that i can tell you that with that being said 
everything is here to access that you need to work on. There is really never a reason to get in your aeration chamber other than to make sure that it is bubbling and acting crazy. I always suggest once a year, poke your head in there and just make sure it looks like it's got a party going on in there. Like you should throw a beer in there and it would make it happy, okay, because it's bubbling. And then you don't really have any reason whatsoever to get in your trash tank. And there is a video on how often you should be pumping your trash tank. So go watch that video if you want to know how often to pump this trash tank and how often to put bacteria into this system. To sum this up, once everything enters here, there's a timer float. It engages. The intake on the pump is about midway. Should any of this trash make it all the way through here and it settles, the intake is up off the bottom, okay? It is not on the bottom of the pump. That, that is to protect the pump and keep it running. The water line, there's always going to be water in this tank too, just much lower, okay? You should be able to see these three floats if you go out in the morning, okay? If we were to take off the riser here and look down in here, no laundry's been run or any of that. This should have pumped down between 1 and 7 in the morning. So this should be the lowest. You should be able to see the top of the pump or this this one, two, three float, as I'm going to call it, uh, from looking down in the tank should be just hanging down or barely floating on the surface. So this is your backup float should you have wa excess water usage, and this is your alarm float. This is a basic overview of how all of them work because they all function at some level on the same principle. So that's what I got, aerobic tank.